pop art printmaking. For this project, you're going to need construction paper in a couple different colors. You're gonna need just a white piece of paper, a styrofoam printing plate, a pen, a brayer, a styrofoam tray, and some black printing ink. First, you're gonna start by making your cool design. You're just going to draw it on regular paper. Then you're gonna take that regular paper and you're going to put it backwards or upside down onto another piece of white paper. And you're going to make sure that you can see through it and you're going to trace this mirror image of your design. So it'll look something like this, like as if you could put it to a mirror and see it correctly. Now you're gonna take your design and you're gonna put it onto the styrofoam printing plate so that it will be the mirror image. And now you're going to trace your design. Now I am tracing quite firmly, but I'm making sure I'm not pushing through the paper and I'm just making an indentation into that styrofoam. Later I'll make it a little bit deeper, but right now I'm just tracing very carefully around all of my letters because mine says Google. So when you're done tracing, you should be able to pick up the paper and you can see the indentation underneath it. And now you'll get a ballpoint pen. Now these are older ballpoint pens so it might actually make some black ink or it might not and that's okay because we're just using it to make this indentation a little bit deeper. Sometimes I even kind of hold my pen a little bit on the side and see how I'm trying to make that a little bit deeper. So now you're gonna see the whole thing traced and I've pushed as much as I can without making holes. Then I decided that I would make a grid around it and I'm cutting that. Since mine is a logo, I'm making a rounded corner rectangle around the word Google. Let's say you did a milk jug for your pop art design. You would actually cut out the milk jug as part of your design. So you're cutting out around the edges of it. The next lesson. For this lesson, we're actually going to be printing. So you will need a brayer and a styrofoam tray and I will have the ink. I'll put whatever color you want on there and then it's your job to take your brayer and you're gonna move it back and forth in both directions because you're trying to make a really thin coat of this ink onto the brayer. You don't want it to be thick and you also want it to be even. So if I look at this, I'm like, oh, it looks pretty good, except for, oh, that one spot. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and I'm going to make the brayer a little more even and now it's looking pretty good. So you'll get a messy mat and then you'll have all your pretty colors and your printing plate. So you're gonna take your brayer and your ink and you're gonna roll it back and forth so it's getting a nice, even, thin coat. And you're going to put it over your printing plate. You do not want the ink to go into the crevices of your design. You want it to stay out of those crevices. So just make a nice, thin layer on top. Now I'm gonna pick it up very carefully. I'm gonna to try to get my colored paper without getting ink on it from my fingers and I'm going to put the printing plate into the center of it, try to line it up carefully. And one way to push this down is for you to just use your hands and you can just rub all the way across and make sure you get into the corners and you're trying to make an even pressure all the way through. Now, some kids find that it's a lot easier to get a brayer that's um, empty, has no ink on it, and they use that to press down on their printing plate. It makes it a little more even. When you feel like it's nice and evenly pressed, then you're going to pull it off and it's kind of like pulling off a sticker. And there's your print. It looks really great. Just move that one aside. You've got your printing plate back again. You're going to add a little more ink because you've just taken some ink off of it. And so you need to give just a nice new thin layer again. So make sure it gets in all the little spots. You're going to pick it up again carefully. Once again, try to get the next paper without getting any of the ink onto it. Make sure you center your printing plate in the center. And then this time I'm gonna get that dry brayer again and I'm gonna just roll it across with a nice even pressure. I'm pushing quite firmly, but I'm trying to also make it even so that one part is not darker than the other. Once again, I'm gonna pick this up 
I'm gonna peel it off like a sticker. And there's my nice print. You're gonna do this two more times so you'll have four prints all together. When you're done making those prints, you're gonna take all four of them and carefully put them onto your messy mat. You wanna make sure they don't overlap at all because it will mess up the prints if they overlap. You'll also put the printing plate on there and take this whole thing over to the drying rack. The next lesson. On this lesson, you will mount all of your dry prints onto a black paper. You're gonna use white squeezy glue to do that and then with your white colored pencil, you're going to give it a name and sign your own name to it. So here is your finished print. I cannot wait to see what you guys make in this project.